So in this video, I want to spend a few minutes talking about a new release from Pilot called the Acro 500. This is part of the Acro series of ballpoint pens. And this is sort of like Pilot's modern ballpoint pens, sort of like the, uh, well, actually very much like the Uniball Jetstream series, which is a lot more famous. Pilot has the Acro. Uh, the most popular of the set is the Acro Ball, which looks a lot like the Jetstream, but Pilot does have the more classy Acro series. And uh, so far, you probably have seen the Acro 300, which is one of my favorites in uh, affordable pens. Uh, price is 300 Japanese yen, or about $3. Then they have the Acro 1000, which is basically the same pen as the Acro 300, but with a metal body. This one sells for... A uh, thousand yen, or about ten dollars, maybe like twelve dollars in the U.S. But uh, it's basically the same pen, but in metal. It doesn't look quite as cool in my eyes. But uh, both really great pens. I like the Acro Ink a lot, and you can find the Acro Ink in the Acro Ball, the Acro Drive. Uh, some of the Doctor Grips essentially have Acro Ink, so it's not hard to find this ink. It's just like this is a somewhat specialized series of pens. Uh, so. The recent release is this. It's called the Acro 500. So it sits in between the Acro 300 and the Acro 1000. Uh, makes sense. Retail price is 500 Japanese yen, about $5. And uh, when I first heard about it, I was a little bit confused. It's like you have the same design here and you go from plastic to metal. Okay, that makes sense. I kind of, I get what's going on here. You have a, a lightweight, affordable pen and a heavier, uh, you know, more expensive pen. I'm not going to say it's super expensive, but more expensive. So what's the deal with the 500? Why does this exist? And we'll put it in there for reference so you can see the three pens together. And you'll see that the 500 is actually a uh, pretty significant change on the other two. The 500 is a good deal shorter and it is fully plastic. Well, the, the body is fully plastic and the front piece is metal. So it's essentially, I would call it a plastic pen. The clip is very similar, but not the same to the other two. And then you have the same type of metal button. So you have a primarily plastic pen that is smaller. And I would say the design is maybe more modern. It has this sort of like, I don't know, 60s or maybe like space age type vibe to it where it kind of goes, uh, it kind of flares in the middle and gets narrower f towards the front in sort of this, uh, I don't know, just the, the shape to me feels like a UFO type shape, especially with this little hole here. I don't know if that's a lanyard loop or what, but it's this kind of strange space age, age design and it comes in, I bought it in this this uh, t like teal color. Maybe it's uh, like a seafoam green, a teal, I don't know. Uh, so it comes in a few different colors. I got it in this light green. So smaller pen, it's actually quite light uh, because of it's a fully plastic body and then just a little bit of metal scattered about. The Acros are really interesting because you can see here they it's a narrow pen and it tapers wide so it gets wide here at the grip area area and it narrows down again. This gives you some front weighting it's extra weight in the front and a little bit of extra grip to hold on to and I kind of always associated that characteristic with the Acro pens. The Acro 1000, Acro 300 has it, and so does the Acro Drive, which is just a, like the Acro 1000, but it's a twist, a high-end twist pen. The Acro 500 doesn't have that. It's the widest point it is like right about here, kind of balloons out, and it gets narrower and narrower, and then it tapers down as you hit this metal front piece. So it moves away from that design as well. It's also a smaller pen. It's on the whole, it is a small pen. Here's it next to a Jetstream, you can see it's a considerably smaller. Here's it next to uh, Jetstream Edge, a lot smaller. Here's a Sharpie S-Gel. <laughs> All these pens are, are a good deal larger than the Acro 500. The Acro 500, instead of being sold in only 0.5 and 0.7 millimeters, as the other pens have been, it is now sold in a 0.3 millimeter. So you can buy it in a 0.3 or 0.5 millimeter. I'm sure later on it'll be sold in the 0.7, uh, but right now it's the 0.3. And the 0.3 Acro pen, the 0.3 millimeter Acro pen is becoming more widely available. They do sell a 0.3 millimeter Acro pen now as well if you want 
the acro ball so you can find that and it's uh you know 0.3 is kind of a scratchy pen but it's not it's definitely not terrible and pilot has done a good job of keeping this as being a very usable uh 0.3 millimeter so this is the acro 500 and 0.3 millimeter see it right there uh it's a nice writer but it's not super smooth but it is quite accurate so that's pretty much what people are looking for from a 0.3 millimeter here we have this is the acro uh 1000 in 0 0.5 millimeter good deal thicker there but not crazy and then uh in this acro 300 i've actually put in a uh, i've upgraded it aftermarket with a 1.0 millimeter which i really like so this is the acro in 1.0 millimeter so now you're looking at a nice wide ballpoint pen that i I really like it's not quite as good as the Jetstream 1.0 millimeter, but it's not quite as wide either. Uh, so I could see a lot of people liking that. So as far as the Acro 500 goes, I was have to say I'm pretty disappointed in this pen. It's a little bit too small for me. It's not, I mean, it's reasonably comfortable, but it's not super comfortable. It doesn't have the wider grip section that I really like from the Acro. It doesn't have the metal body of the Acro uh, 1000. It has a little bit of metal here but I don't really see it as being an upgrade to the Acro 300. I really like this pen. It's one of my, I'd say one of my kind of sleeper favorites. It's a pen I come back to a lot. Just a really nice classic shape, nice click, great build quality, good refill. Uh, this pen has the same refill, but uh, the, uh, the build quality doesn't feel quite as nice. This like kind of glossy grip section is like, it's just fine. I guess it's an interesting color, but doesn't have any real grip to it. It's kind of, kind of a glossy feel in that sort of uh, metallic material. There's some metal here, but not enough to add any real weight to the pen. Opening the pen up, we could see all that, all that plastic there and the standard Acro refill, which is called the B, BVRF. Uh, yeah, BVRF. So that pretty much summarizes the acro 500 uh i like i'm happy to see pilot building out the acro family i think that's uh that's really great but i'm uh, a little disappointed with this release especially because we haven't been seeing a lot of these acros come out i think the acro 300 has been out a couple years acro 1000 a couple years and they, they just became available widely in the u.s like you could finally find them on amazon and other places now after i don't know two three years of having to buy them through specialty places. Now the Acro 500 drops and it's just kind of a, I wouldn't quite say a pocket pen, but it's definitely smaller than average and less comfortable than it needs to be. So kind of disappointing release, but I'm glad to see Pilot continuing the development of the Acro line. If you are in the market for one of these, I'd definitely say get the Acro 300. It's, uh, it's really quite good and it's a really nice competitor to the Jetstream while kind of having, like I'd take a classier look to it. The Acro 1000 is nice. It has a little bit of extra weight, but uh, I don't know. It's not really, I prefer the Acro Drive, which is like taking the Acro 1000 and taking it all the way to where it should be to be a nice luxury pen. But then you're in like the, you know, $25 range. So you're getting to something more expensive. So I think that pretty much covers it. That's the quick thoughts on the new Pilot Acro 500 ballpoint pen. Thanks for watching.